In this video, we'll create this nature scene using the free software Inkscape. You can also download this finished SVG from Pixabay. I'll include a link in the description of this video. Uh, you can use it however you want. You can make changes to it or use it as is, uh, or you can follow along. We're going to start very slowly uh, creating these first couple objects, and I'll speed up the video because the process is repetitive throughout the entire video, so you'll get to see the different methods for how this scene was created. The first thing we want to do is go to the rectangle tool and we'll create the size for the scene. So we'll just left click and create a nice rectangle. If yours isn't blue, that's okay. You can change the color later. We'll go into the selection tool, um, drag it to a point that you want, get it to the size that you want it to be. And then we'll go into this Bezier curve tool. This will let us create a path and everywhere we click, it will create a node. And if we click and hold, we can curve the line that connects those two nodes together. So we're going to draw a line here that's going to separate the sky from the land in this case. And when we get to the outside of the rectangle, uh, we're going to just, it doesn't really matter, we're going to be cutting that part off using the path intersection tool. So we're going to right click and duplicate this rectangle. That's very important because it's going to get deleted. And if we don't duplicate it, we will lose our sky. And then we'll shift select the new path that we drew and also the duplicated sky and go to path intersection. And that creates a new object, so we have our sky, and then we also have just our land, and then notice now it's not extending past the bounds of our sky. So we can change the color, we'll change it to green, uh, or any color that you want to. And notice there's still a black line, so if we go into the fill and stroke, uh, we can go to our stroke paint, and we'll just want to turn it off, so that we just have a, a solid green fill and a solid blue fill against one another. And now these steps, we're just going to duplicate over and over again. If you want to change the color, you can also do that in fill and stroke. Uh, but these steps we're going to do over and over again. So I'll speed up the video here, and we'll just draw another shape using the same method. We'll duplicate the sky, and then uh, we'll go to path intersection and change this one to a darker green. Now that was very fast, and the rest of this video is going to be pretty quick, but it really is the same steps over and over again. We'll draw a shape. If it goes outside of our box, we'll just need to duplicate whatever we want to compare it against. And then we'll do path intersection. We can do path difference. Some of these work differently. We can always get in and edit these nodes and change them. Um, if, you're, if this feels a little bit more advanced than what you're used to, you may want to go back and start with some of the tutorial videos learning how the path tool works. Um, but essentially, this whole artwork is going to be drawn just using the path tool and then using path difference and path, path intersection. Uh, and then changing those colors. And so right now, we're creating the outset of this water. We'll change it to a different color. So if we change the color on this, now we have a darker color. And this is kind of a better method than changing. You could add a stroke to it and then change that stroke thickness. But this gives you a lot more um, uh, control over how, how thick you do it. And you can make it a lot more organic uh, than you could with just doing a stroke. Plus, a stroke's going to apply it to the top and the bottom and sides. This way, you can apply it to just the top in this case. And remember, if you feel like this is a little bit overwhelming and you're not understanding how the tools work, I do have free tutorials here on YouTube teaching how to use this path tool, for example, and teaching how to cut objects out of each other like we're doing here. So feel free to go back and watch some of those. For the remainder of this video, I'm just going to speed it up quite a bit just so you can see the color choices and the shape choices. But just know all of the drawing is happening this same method. It's just creating a path and then cutting it out of another path and changing the color. That's it, over and over and over again. So hopefully you like this video. Go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below if you have any, and look forward to catching you in the next video. Enjoy.